Pixies and welcome back to my channel and this has been uh, the first video that I've done that hasn't been a roleplay in like a long time but basically well hasn't been like a video video basically this is going to be a tour of all of my plots or at least most of them some of them I'm not gonna go on because like half of them is like empty plots well not half of them but like some of them are empty plots so there's no point in me like going on them but uh yeah that's pretty much it and i'm literally about to sneeze right now <laughs> my allergies are literally off the walls currently because it's becoming spring-ish like summer where i live let's just jump right into this video um as you can see i have a lot of plots um so <laughs> let's just get right into it we'll start at the top they're not in order i don't know why they're like this I did go on the hospital, but like, I don't know. I never use like any of these plots. And for some reason, my house is always like all the way down here. Where is it? I don't even know, but it's never at the top. It doesn't make sense, but let's just go on this. Why not? So this build is actually quite old. Um, it was made by Jakey and me kind of. And um, yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, it's basically pretty simple. It's just a hospital. I mean, there's nothing really that special about it. I did update it a little bit, um, but it's basically just, it's literally just a hospital. Um, it's kind of boring. It's not really finished much. There are some rooms up here, like this is done. This is a nice room. Um, there is another room that's done over here. I think that one's done too. But yeah, that's kind of it. This is a very simple one. I do like it though. It's very pretty. Um, simple but, simple but necessary, simple but pretty, you know? Okay, next in order is the beach house. The beach house, oh, such good memories. This is super old. This is probably one of the oldest builds I have. It has been updated a few times, but basically this is the house that is like technically our family's vacation home. It's still to this day one of my favorite interiors. Even though it's outdated, I just think this kitchen is so cute. And it's just super sweet. I do have a speed build for the original of this house. I don't know if it's still on my channel or not, but it used to be. I might have had to take it down when I was getting like copyright strikes, but um, it's it's actually pretty. This could definitely use some help, but we don't come here enough or use this plot enough for me to like actually, actually fix it up, you know? I have to pick my priorities. Down here we have the rooms. I have the master suite or whatever and then we have the baby's rooms and my personal favorite over here i work so hard on this room is the kids room i love the beds it looks so good um i even made custom name things like literally so extra and i love that it opens oh i love that it opens like to the front like i just think it looks so cute yeah that's the beach house Oh shoot, I should probably be telling you guys how much this costs. This costs 340,000. Uh, the other one I think was around 200,000, so. Okay, along with old build, this is just a super small house. I literally only have this because first of all, I always thought this build was really cute. And second of all, uh, when I tour houses, like for videos, I tend to always use my old house plots. So this was a build that I did so long ago, so long ago. You can just tell like it's, that it's outdated, but I do remember that I came in and I switched this out because they added this and I was like this will fit perfectly in this house so I switched it out um, but it's really small it's just like a little apartment situation I really do like it like the theme of it it's like very boho very uh, earthy but I do love the kitchen the kitchen is so pretty yeah this is a really simple one I'm pretty sure this only costs like I don't know how much 38,000 so I mean the exterior could definitely use a little work but for being built so long ago it's pretty cute okay the school this is probably this is my biggest and most expensive build i love this build this is i would probably have to say my favorite thing that i've ever built um because this is one of the only things that i've built like originally on my own uh jakey did help with the remodel of this school a lot but all of the classrooms like and original stuff was done by me um and i'm I have always been so proud of this build because I just love the way that it turned out. This is, once again, my biggest build. It, it cost $1.1 million. Um, so, yeah. It's also my largest plot data size. 
this is literally almost 50% plot data, which is a lot. That's why it literally always lags everyone out in the server. Uh, and this is Fergie the Frog, the school mascot. A Elixir and I came up with that. Uh, so this outside area is really simple. Um, more simplicity, just like basic stuff. And then inside, it's just so cute. And Jakey redid this area uh, and we like remodeled a lot of the classrooms and stuff or like finished them because a lot of them weren't even done. He did end up like redoing a lot of these hallways and stuff. It's, it's so pretty, like it's so pretty. The school is gorgeous. I've never done a full tour of it before um, because I just haven't gotten around to doing it, but um, it's really, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous build. It's once again, like I said, my favorite and it has so many good memories with it, you know? I just recently redid this um, office. It did not, did not put that much effort into it, but it looks a lot better than it used to. So, you know, whatever. And I added a bunch of new posters and stuff to this school the other day. Oh, I forgot I never deleted that. <laughs> I also redid the whole library, which I love. I don't really want to go through the whole thing, but it is a really, really, really pretty build. Uh, and I love it. This is definitely like what I'm most proud of. I'm sure Jakey is pretty proud of this build too. I think we just build better when we like work together on stuff because it always turns out so much better than if it was just one of us. So, okay the daycare oh this build is something for sure uh i don't really like this build it's been remodeled many times i just i don't know i never really loved it i never loved still don't love it uh it costs 199 000, um and it's it's really basic and it's not that big or fancy it's just a simple daycare because like I said, I literally own all the plots for like videos and when you need a daycare, my plot is the one you go to because I always have literally any like any build you could ever want, I have for the most part. So yeah, that's basically the only reason this exists. I mean, the idea is there, I just don't like it. Failed hacks for real though, failed hacks. I just didn't take that much time on it because it's not that important, so. Yeah, that's kind of it. Oh no, not the van. This is so bad. You guys are lucky that I'm showing you guys these because some of these are so embarrassing. So why do I have a car on this plot? What the heck? Some of these builds are literally the most embarrassing builds ever. Let me just tell you, this is so old and you can just tell because like the way this was done is just so janky. Ah. It's so bad. It's so bad. Like, there was no hacks that you could do at this point in Bloxburg. The only way I even figured out how to do this was because I made the roof, like, a certain height. Like, literally, this is so, so outdated. People have made such better, like, vans now, but, like, I just did this because I thought it was so cool at the time because no one had come up with anything like that yet, you know? <laughs> okay, this is a Jakey build, um, so we'll go on that quickly. I'm not gonna tour the whole thing. Um, I totally forgot that he changed this and it just gave me a huge shocker. Um, this is a Christmas tree farm. Anyways, this is 3,000, 300,000. This used to be the apple orchard and pumpkin patch, but I forgot that we changed it for Christmas. But yeah, that's basically what this is. It definitely needs it some changes to be done because it's looking a little janky but that's okay i have no clue what this is so let's figure that out like I, you can see i have like a bunch of plots that i don't know what they are oh okay this is my old house um my really one of my older older houses that um you can kind of still tell what it is because the like layout and like the look is the same on the outside Ninety-nine thousand dollars. Um, I just the exterior. I redid it. I actually debated on moving into this house instead of my current house. Um, I really do like this. I have no issue with it. Like it's pretty. It just looks like it's just too similar to what it was before, I guess. Um, but I just redid it for fun. Okay, what's next? Ah, <sighs> French cafe. Gosh. This is ugly. This is so old and so ugly. This is what probably one of my other oldest builds. 67,000. I built it for a date night thing for Elixia and Remy used it for a video once. It's literally so bad. It's so bad. Um, but you know, it was fine at the time and it's literally just so simple. I don't know what this is. I don't think that it's that important though. Let's just see what it is quick. 
Oh, this literally is my random plot. <laughs> um, this is literally what I do. Random hacks on. I try new stuff out on. Um, updates. That is a recreation of my room, which it doesn't even look like this anymore. It looks like super different to this. This is not what it looks like. Um, and that's a giant oven I built. So yeah. <laughs> okay, what is next? Fall home. I'm actually gonna skip that because it's not that interesting. I have a speed build on it, still on my channel. So if you're that interested, you can find it. Um, this is an interesting house. We're gonna go on that. This is for a series that Riley and I did. Oh, I still love it so much. This is for a series Riley and I did um, forever ago where we like kind of did this situation where we like went back in time and like played our younger selves. And this was the house that our mom made us move into. It's actually hilarious. It's still on our channel. It's called the throwback series. If you guys want to go check it out. We even made like pictures and stuff. Um, this is once again outdated, but I love, love, love this house. I love this house. This was my room, of course, bougie as always. Oh my God, this is, this is my favorite. Like so many memories. Ooh, ooh. Okay, I'm stuck. I really do like it. I love the exterior so much. Uh, it's just so sweet. It's just so sweet. This cost 108,000, so pretty cheap. Okay, this is, uh, I actually still have this on my channel too. This is a renovation of the starter home that I did with like 15K or something. We can look at that. This is, okay, this is totally destroyed. So I'm not gonna go on this plot, but this is basically a house that I built forever ago. Uh, and I destroyed it because I did a 100 babies challenge and had to place a ton of cribs. The speed build might be on my channel, I don't know. Uh, okay, we'll go on this. This is, uh, like I said, oh, okay, okay, it's like, I did this renovation with like $15,000. Oh, oh, okay. Um, It's not bad. It's just not the best. I mean, uh, yeah. or like 10,000. I can't remember what the video it is. That one's still up. It was the first video I did with a face cam on my channel. Uh, yeah, 23,000, so pretty cheap. What's next? I think it was the hotel, actually. Yes, this is probably one of my favorite builds as well. Um, this is called the Stallion Hotel, as in referencing Megan the Stallion, because I literally love her. Anyways, this is one of also my biggest builds. It does not have the same, same large, like, budget or the same plot data size, but, um, it's still one of my more expensive ones. 600,000, almost 700,000. So I'm just gonna do a quick, uh, little tour of this because I don't want to spend the whole day here. Uh, but this is, I love this. I love the colors. I love the pinks. It's gorgeous. It's pretty. And it was in my pink era, so it fit well. I mean, I wouldn't ever build something this pink anymore, but it's cute. Like, I have no issue with this build. I think it's really adorable. And the rooms are so pretty. Let me find my favorite room. This is my favorite room. They all look very, very similar, but this is my favorite variation of it. Yeah. Love this. Love this build. Love this build. It's great. And it's a great roleplay build. Okay, we're kind of finishing up here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, the meet and greet. Yes. Oh. Okay, I need to use this again. This is like one of my favorite things I've ever made. Uh, ooh, my decal got like, my decal got broke. Okay, I spent so much time on this build. This, I love this build. It's great. It worked perfectly when we used it. It was exactly what it says. It's like meet and greet. Uh, we had everyone line up here and it worked great because you could like sit and then move so no one could like cut or anything. And then you would come in here and we would take a picture and there'd be moves and whatever. And these pictures aren't working for some reason. I don't know why. Anyways, this costs 73,000. Okay, uh, what's next? The wedding venue. Ugh, there's still so many. There's still so many guys. Okay, this is the wedding venue that I built for Elixia and Michael when they got married. And it's, once again, it's simple. It's not that fancy. It's just a wedding venue and she wanted snow theme, so obviously that's what I did. And Jakey did this part right here. 
but yeah that's kind of it i have a build on this we're not gonna go on this because this is just a house that i built for fun it's not that pretty and it's not even done so we're not going on that uh new roleplay family home this is my old roleplay family family home the big big one that i had before this new house we are going to go on the camp because i love this build too top three favorites probably the school the camp and uh what was the other one the school the camp and the hotel this jakey and i built together this is also a speed build so i'm not going to tour the whole thing it's really really cute it's so cute i love this build and we're probably going to use it this summer for some videos so yeah oh oh water it's just so cute. I love it. 600,000. Oopsies. Okay, so the park was built by Jakey. This is a Jakey build. Uh, and it's exactly what it is. It's just a little park. We use this for Luna's birthday. We use this for a park role play. It's really simple. Kind of small, but it gets the job done. It's just another build that we build. That we built. 100,000. So that's not that bad. Uh, rooms. This is a Jakey in my bedroom recreations, but they're outdated, so I'm not even gonna show you. And this is, oh, this is another one of my favorite rooms. I mean, uh, another one of my favorite builds. Oh, this I built forever ago before like any of the, well, after like the shape update, I built this. So I don't really know how long ago that was, but that's when I built this. It is probably one of the biggest builds or one of the bigger builds for sure and i spent so much time finding these cute decals it is basically izzy's gymnastics area i love this build it's gives me so much good like good vibes because i do gymnastics myself so it just reminds me of like my own gym uh but yeah i made the vault so we can go run 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 and then you jump on the springboard and you flip blah blah, blah. i made the foam pit this took so long and this is like a tumble track or not tumble track but like spring track and then the bars the uneven bars which this doesn't even make sense because where are you supposed to land like at least this this one you don't have anywhere to land either i don't know what i was thinking when i made these but guys you can jump to the high bar and everything <laughs> but yeah that's that i love this build it just it's so cute uh but yeah okay we're getting towards the end here this is literally an empty plot la 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 I couldn't tell you what this is, but this is going to be the last plot, so... Oh! Okay, so this is, I guess, another house that I built randomly. I do this thing where I build houses spontaneously, like if I get inspiration, and then I just leave them. Like, this literally did not get done at all. It's just a really, really basic house. It's cute, though. It would have been cuter if I finished it, but it's cute for what it is. This costs 16000 so yeah. So guys, those are like all my plots. Of course, there are still a few that I didn't show you, like my newest house, but I have a whole video on that. And some of the other ones that I didn't show you literally have nothing or little to nothing on them. So I kind of showed you everything. Uh, and that was like around, I don't even know how many plots, but I have a lot. But if you guys have any recommendations for new builds you want to see, let me know because I literally have everything built. I don't even know why I would build, but yeah i love you all so so much and thank you for watching this video i really appreciate it and thank you so much for getting me either to 100k or close to 100k i couldn't even tell you what i'm at right now because this video is being recorded on a sunday i currently have <gasps> oh shoot i currently have 99.9 thousand .9 subscribers oh my god oh my god oh my god guys i am so close oh my god I'm freaking out. I didn't know I was that close. I didn't know I was that close. Now I have to like get ready. Like I have to stream. <gasps> no way. I only have 10 subscribers. Oh God. I gotta go. I gotta go right now. I gotta go right now, guys. I gotta go. I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye my pixies. Spread kindness.